Japanese style noodle teriyaki stir fry udon with mixed vegetable topping. Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, food review videos, unboxing haul videos. In today's video, we're going to review another product from Costco. Ta-da! This is, this is actually the second time I purchased something from this brand, so I hope it tastes good. So recently, I featured this in my Costco haul and I've never tried it, so today we're gonna try this out to see if it's actually good. This is from the brand Pomu One, and this is their Japanese-style noodle teriyaki stir-fry udon with mixed vegetable topping. And it says this one is microwavable, ready in minutes. It has four noodle packets, four seasoning packets, and four topping packets. So previously in my channel, I actually reviewed another Japanese style tonkatsu ramen from the same brand and that one actually tasted really, really good. So now I saw a different item from the same brand. I wanted to try this out because I have tried different teriyaki stir fry udon noodles from Costco. To be honest, not a lot of them are good. So the challenge is on. Let's see if this one is actually good. So there are four servings in each pack. Each serving is 370 calories, 6 grams of fat. It does contain a lot of carbohydrates, 72 grams of carbohydrates, and 7 grams of protein. So on the note of eating healthy, I don't think this item is healthy just because it's very low in protein, very high in carbs. So personally, I would put a little bit of more protein in there and maybe share the carb servings with my husband. But today we're gonna try this out. But just FYI, nutrition advice, I will add a little bit more protein if I'm eating it as my lunch or dinner. Cooking directions for one serving. It says you can use microwave or use the stove top in. It's like, three minutes and this is done so i'm very 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 excited so let's open this oh, oh before we start don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out with the youtube i don't make money over thumbs up but it really helps out to push the videos to more people so they can taste it with me also i want to do a disclaimer everyone has a different taste bud like just because i like something or dislike something doesn't mean that it's like good for everyone or not good for everyone like it. so this is what the noodle udon noodle the udon pack noodles the udon noodles pack okay you can't talk today and this is the vegetable toppings i don't think there's a lot of vegetables probably just dry vegetables and then there is the teriyaki seasoning so but the udon noodles actually looks pretty promising it's a real 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 udon noodles because a lot of times when i bought like frozen udon stir fry teriyaki udon noodles from costco they're not udon noodles they're just regular lo mein noodles they're like there's a huge difference okay all right guys here's my kitchen i apologize for the burnt pot my husband burnt it <laughs> there's very little thing to do with me but i swear it's clean okay so now let's put into the noodles and the vegetable packs are dry vegetables. It's a little bit sad. I was hoping for real vegetables, but no. Okay, so let's put in four tablespoons of water. We're gonna go to... Okay, the noodle has softened. Soaking the water in, that's nice. Okay, the noodle texture is really good. It's authentic udon noodle. Although I wish there's more vegetables. Okay, I think the noodles are basically done. Let's um, evaporate some of the water that I put in. And then let's add in the sauce. All right. So now let's put into the sauce. That's a lot of seasoning. Okay, it's it's not seasoning water. I thought it was the sauce. It's actually powder. Oops. So since it's powder, I'm not gonna put all of them just because usually they're really really salty. And then put a little bit more water for the sauce just to melt it out. Oh, it smells really good, to be honest. That's a good sign. 
me for a little bit more seasoning. I'm not gonna put the whole pack. I can see a lot of sodium here. You know, it's a little bit better. Now we got a little bit more color. So there are some sesame seeds in there, which is pretty good. Oh, it actually smells so good. And you're basically making your own sauce with the powder seasoning and the water. Okay, I like it. I think it's done. I think it's done. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. It actually smells pretty good. All right, guys, this is what the lo mein noodles look looks like. It smells really, really good. It smells just like the authentic teriyaki sauce. It smells just like the ones that I used to have in Asia and then some of the restaurants. Although this noodle kind of looks plain since it doesn't have anything on the side, but you could always add more protein, add some eggs or meat or tofu and, you know, do some broccolis. And you can definitely save the sauce package or the uh, teriyaki package for your broccoli. So I like that. So now let's try out the noodles. They actually look really, really Alright guys, we're here with the noodles. These are real udon noodles. They're really thick. The texture is really, really authentic. So I'm glad that they're actually using real udon noodles, not just calling any noodles udon noodles because udon noodles are different than other noodles. So now let's try this out. I'm glad that I didn't put the whole pack because the saltiness is just the right amount. Hmm. Ooh, tastes so good. It's actually pretty good. Super, super good. Man, it actually tastes so good that it's hard to tell that it's from a package. I really like it. So, I'm glad that I only put a third of the seasoning into my udo noodles because I think they definitely give you too much of the powder. I only put one third of the seasoning packets and it's just the right amount for me. So if this is the first time you cook this item, definitely don't put too much. You can always add more, but if you put too much, it will be too, too, too salty. And the udon noodles has a great texture. It's just so authentic, really, really good texture. For the udon noodles, the flavor is so good. It's the authentic teriyaki noodle flavor. So it kind of tastes like from the restaurants. The only thing I would say, is that if you look at this noodle, it's a little bit plain. There is no vegetables, they're not meat. The tonkatsu ramen actually has like pork belly in there. And I think some other like restaurants, they also put like other like maybe dry vegetables or maybe some, maybe they can put like some suggested servings on the side or something. But overall, by the noodles themselves, they taste it so good. I will give them nine out of 10 just by the noodles. For a dish on its own, for an entree on its own, it's definitely a little bit lacking. There's no vegetables or protein. But for the noodles, like it's just so, 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 so good. And I would definitely next time steam some broccolis and using the same sauce and then put some maybe Chinese barbecue pork or put some eggs or put some or put some teriyaki chicken as well. It's probably gonna taste better too. But overall the noodles are so 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 good. Highly recommend. This is the real udon noodles. They're not just like lo mains or other noodles, which I like. I love the special texture, the thickness of the udon noodles, and the sauce is really good as well. So so overall this item is approved. I will eat it as a side dish, not as a main entree because it's only carbs. But overall the flavor, the texture, and everything is good and it's just so easy to yucky stir fry udo it's approved alrighty that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching cooking and tasting my noodles with me if you have tried this item comment down below what you think of it i know everyone has different preference so comment down below what you truly think of it it won't offend me if you don't like it's something that i liked but i really want other viewers to get like different opinions before purchasing something um, especially big package from wholesale tosco so yeah, comment down below if you try this item. Also comment down below what you recommend from Costco. I would love to try them out. All right, that's it for today's video. Before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and ring the notification bell and check out my other Costco Asian food review videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, I'm gonna go eat my noodles. Bye.